What is up guys, JF Gaming here and welcome back to my F1 2014 career mode and here we are in the very wet Monaco Grand Prix, the jewel of the calendar, round 6 of season 2. And I'd just like to point out that I will be trying to complete the season before F1 2015 comes out which is in about 6 or 7 weeks so I'm going to have to get out quite a few videos before then. So continuing on with this career mode, it's Q3 at the moment. We're really quick at the moment on the intermediates. The first two sessions were wet and uh, we were very competitive indeed. We were first in Q1, second in Q2. So we're coming to the line, putting in a lap. No one else has put in a lap yet, so we don't really have a marker. And we've got a 26.6. How fast was that? Well, there's your answer. And it was somehow on Legend AI, 1.4 seconds quicker than Hamilton. We've got our second pole position in a row at Monaco. Unbelievable, what a performance. And yeah, just feeling fantastic right now. Ricardo's in third ahead of Rosberg. And a great session for Button, who's got his McLaren up to fifth. So here are the celebrations. What a session. But the key thing is can we maintain the pace in the race? Here we are on the grid. First thoughts keep the Mercedes behind. Get a decent start. We're going to move to the left. And away we go, moving to the left of the track, but actually we've got decent traction. And we've actually got a lead into the first corner. Flying through, going up, I don't know the name of the corners or straights or any bits of the track, but look at that lead we've got. It must be like two seconds to Hamilton. Button's up to third, he's overtaken Ricardo, so Rosberg must be down to fifth at this point. But the lead we have right now... I'm going to make the most of these fresh tyres and hopefully fly off into the distance. Sending a faster slap like that, we had some great pace. Two seconds ahead of Hamilton. But as Hamilton does in true Mercedes style, he comes back with his own fastest lap of the race. And when tyre wear kicks in a little bit, we're on lap 5 here. Hamilton just flies up behind us and he's definitely putting us under pressure. But if you look at the minimap, there's three groups. Myself and Hamilton, Button in thirds holding up a group. Kvyat in 10th holds an upper group, and Ericsson in about 15th. So a great performance there from the case room driver. But lap 9 now, Hamilton is all over me. My tyres has really started to go off at this point. He's put me under so much pressure, but sadly, well not really sadly, but he doesn't put a move on me there. But I do make up a bit of time in the uh, in the Novel chicane. Is, is that what it's called? But here we go, go defensive because Hamilton's coming at me. And I'm really tight. I don't know why I did that locked up and cut the corner. Bit of a warning there. Not the best driving, but uh, Hamilton's probably going to catch up in a second, so I'm not going to give any time away. But Hamilton's on the attack here. He's got DRS. I've left him too much room. He's going up the inside. We're side by side into the first corner. This is dangerous. We're risking it around the outside, and we've maintained the lead, and Hamilton's lost a position. Maybe two. I think Button's up to second there, yes he is. Ricardo's in third, so Hamilton's down in fourth. And I thought at this point, in terms of strategy, my tyres are going. I'll go for a two-stop, most of the cars will go for a one-stop, and hopefully Button will hold everyone up, so I can come back in the final stint on the option. So here we go with the primes. Going to try and get them out the way. And we're getting held up, who's in the pit? It's a Williams. Williams going for another one of their crazy strategies. Probably a similar one to me, actually. So not too crazy, but we're coming out in 10th. There's a Williams just behind us, and we've gone over the pit lane line. Lucky penalties are only on corner cutting because of the stupid penalty system. But yeah, I probably deserved a penalty there. So, cars are coming in for their one and only stop. Up to 5th, that's Button. That's Button and Hamilton we've come out ahead of. So Button's hopefully going to hold up Hamilton. The key thing is, where the hell is Rosberg? And we will see on the next lap. Coming past the soft finish straight there is Rosberg. But the key question is, who is going to be in second position? Looking backwards, it's Rosberg. The plan to win this race by going for an extra stop could be all over. Because Rosberg is obviously going to have the pace. But I currently have the pace at the moment. Doing a good job on these primes, but I'm not building up a gap as I really wanted to. And as you can see, there's quite a bit of traffic ahead. I thought, 15 laps on the options, let's do it. It's the only way I'm going to possibly win this race. But Rosberg's got a 5 second lead over Button, so... A win could be out the question at the moment, so we could be fighting for second place. Which is a shame, considering we got pole 3.7 stop there. 
Let's see how far behind we come out. It looks like it's, yes, it's 7th position. Let's not mess up this uh, pit exit. That is a lot better this time. So now we've got around 5 seconds to close up on Hulkenberg. And we actually do that pretty quickly. Putting in some great laps. But it wasn't Hulkenberg, it was Ricardo who got overtaken. So there's a cl big group of cars ahead. Ricardo, Hulkenberg, Alonso and Button. I think Button's holding them up. Yes, he is. Hamilton sadly has got past him, which is not good for my strategy. But we're going for a move up the hairpin. I really need to get these names right. Just wait till Monaco comes around this year. But here we go. I'm trying to get past my teammate, Ricardo. As quick as possible to make this strategy work. There's a couple of back markers in there slowing people up. Cars are everywhere. Alonso is so slow. He's just in the way. We're going up the inside of him. Yes, we're up to sixth, but I'm in a tricky position between a couple of cars. Ricardo trying to go around the outside, but no. He's on the slower tyres, but we're going around the outside. Yes! In the final corner, what a move. Groshans holding up Hulkenberg. DRS. And we've overtaken three cars in a matter of seconds. What a... What a combination of corners and overtakes there. We got lucky with the back markers, but that was great driving right there. Now it's time to close in on Button. Four seconds behind. And here we go, lap 29. We have a back marker, Sutil, making it as easy as possible, of course. Just getting in the way. We're closing in on Button. Two seconds now. We may have a chance at second if we get past Button as quick as we can. But sadly, I did spend like a lap and a half behind Button. I just couldn't overtake him. So I really need to get past if I want to get that second position of Hamilton. This could be an opportunity. Up the inside, we make a slight bit of contact, but I think I'm going to get past here. I've got the inside line into the final corner. Yes, there we go. DRS as well for good measure. What's the gap to Hamilton? That is very important. Eight seconds. We've got eight laps to close in eight seconds. These tyres could be going off. Awful corner cut there. <laughs> Probably shouldn't have kept that in the video. But at this point, I did close in on Hamilton. 3.8 seconds. I think he got held up by back markers. But no. The pace is gone. The tyres are going off. I'm lapping Vern here. But as you can see, my lap isn't a great one. 18.1. And the gap is getting bigger. The tyres were going off. You can see I'm sliding, struggling to keep the car in a straight line. So the, the situation was really hold on to third because the two Mercedes were just too quick. Shame about the plan, but the key is to hold Button behind us. Can we do that? Oh, we were so close to the barrier there. So close on the last lap. We're sliding, getting oversteer. Button could be closing in. He's got DRS. We've got to go up to the rich mix. But I think we've maintained it. Yes, we have. And it's a third position. Second podium of the season. Little bit disappointed considering we got Paul. But the two Mercedes are just too quick at the moment. Tie wear for us is just not good enough and it definitely needs to be upgraded. So Rosberg took the win from Hamilton. I'm 25 seconds off the lead, which you could say is a pit stop, but I don't think it would have worked out that way. So 15 points is pretty decent. Button, who had a fantastic race, but we could have done with him holding back the two Mercedes. If he did that, we would have had a great chance of winning this race. Hulkenberg 5th, Alonso 6th, and Ricardo disappointing in 7th. There must have been a bit of a train there behind Hulkenberg, as we know, drops off in the second half of the race. The two Williams finished outside the points. I think they did the same strategy as myself and Bianchi and, and Gutierrez didn't finish the race. So looking at the Drivers' Championship, Rosberg is three points ahead of Hamilton. He has taken the championship lead. And as you can see, the two Red Bulls are lagging behind a little bit. 30 points and 33 points back, respectively, for Ricardo and myself. So... It's going to be a challenge to get to the top of the standings and win this championship. I'm hoping the next race will help us out. Canada is a great track for myself, but the Mercedes do have their power unit, which is going to be a good advantage for them. So here's the Constructors' Championship. I did forget to record this. So we've got, we are, how many points? 60 points behind Mercedes. So we'll definitely have to close up, but we're well ahead of Ferrari. We should be solid in at least second position. So here we are celebrating. Great race. Hope you enjoyed it. Please leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already. These career mode videos, I will be concentrating on them. So look out for them. And I'll catch you in the next race. Goodbye.